Hi there, this is Sophie from The Makers. I'm here today to show you how to make your own bird's legs from wire. So you can make them any size and um, shape you want. We do of course sell the ready-made bird's legs. So we have them available in a few different sizes and colours. Um, and they're ideal for, for little birds like this little life-size robin. Um, he's using our black legs. You can bend them to shape and paint them. But there are times, for instance, if you're making larger birds, like our chicken ginger ninja here, she has a, a much bigger feet made from um, wire coat hangers. And this is a large robin here. So of course we have to make our own size feet for these guys. So the, uh, there's a few things you'll need. So um, some wire cutters and pliers. Um, some of our wire. Now this is our, our 1.5 millimeter cotton covered copper wire. So that's ideal for a, a bird of this size. Um, we do sell uh, smaller sizes of wire and we also sell steel wire which is much stiffer and tougher. So if you wanted to make a sort of bigger bird like that the steel one might be the one to go for. But today we're using the 1.5 millimeter copper wire. And I will show you the techniques I'll just change the camera over so first of all you want to put your you want to make the bird first ideally then you know what size you're going for and I'm going to lay it this way so you can see but if you if yours was on the table you can sort of hold it above the table but basically you want to first of all find the length of the wire so you're measuring, the wire's got to go up inside the body of the bird. I can feel the end of that wire around here. So it's going that far into the body of the bird. And then you need to make a bend at the ankle of the bird. So just there. So that's how long my leg's going to be. Thank you, Robin, for you to one side for a moment. So you can make a stiff bend by using, if you've got them, the needle nose pliers. And then you're going to come out and you're going to start with the middle toe. So this is the middle toe coming out here. And then you're going to bend it back on itself. Now it helps if you make these toes a little bit longer than on a normal bird. It just gives them a bit more stability. So you can see this robin here has got quite long toes. And underneath um, the florist tape here the wire is twisted back on itself so we're gonna do that now make a long toe and then twist the wire back on itself so this is now our middle toe here and then you can use your pliers just to twist those ends together twisting the wire together makes it a lot stronger and stiffer so that will help to give your bird some stability when it's standing up. So middle toe and then we come back into the, the back toe. So same again, make it slightly longer than you would on a on sort of a, a real bird. Bending it back towards the leg. And then you can bend this wire. The copper is quite pliable so you can bend it with your hand as well. So there you go, you've got your middle toe and your back toe. So now we're going to come just around the front of this wire like that. So the toe is kind of, the back toe is kind of locked in place and I've gone the opposite way to, to the side toe. So I've come around this side and then I'm coming out here for the for the side toe. So around there and opposite toe. And then you can measure the length against the first toe and then bend the wire back on itself again. So again, just repeating what you've done for that first toe and just twisting the wire together. I'm going to do that with my hands, but it can help to use pliers. You can squeeze those ends a bit smaller if you like. Now we came in front of the ankle to go out to that toe. So now we're going to come with this part of the wire behind the ankle. So 
when you're going around the ankle always try and do the opposite of what you did before so I came in front before and now I'm going behind then I'm going to make the third toe so once again you can just measure the length against that first toe if you have a um, if you want to make the feet a specific size you could have a drawing which you um, lay the foot on and and just measure it against that but we're just freestyling this one so there we go, I've twisted that toe, and now because I came behind the ankle last time, I'm going to go in front of the ankle this time, and then I'm going to go underneath the foot, so that's going to help to make all that foot really nice and solid now. So going under the foot, and then I'm going to come up the leg, and I'm going to twist the wires together up the leg. And I'm going to stop just where the leg would go into the body. So maybe a little bit further there. So if I compare to this, I think a little bit further. I have added a little bit extra wool on this section, so I need to come up a tiny bit higher. And then I'm going to bend the wire so it comes across. And that part of the wire will actually sit underneath the body so the two legs are attached together by that piece of wire underneath the body of the bird so you need to leave a bit of space that piece of wire in the middle helps to hold the weight of the robin and then we're going to come back down for the other leg so it's going to be a repeat of what you did before so you're going to bend the wire at the ankle so we're going forwards into that middle toe middle toe there making it nice and long to help the bird balance twisting the wires together for that middle toe then coming out to the back and again twisting the wire together might make that a tiny bit bigger just for stability Okay, and then I'm coming around the ankle and going to the opposite toe again. And the great thing about this is you can make um, feet for all different kinds of birds. You can paint them different colours. Some birds have, um, depending on the species, they might have different coloured feet. Some have quite light feet. Um, and some have, you know, you can have a blue-footed booby even in um, New Zealand. So last time I went in front of the ankle. This time I'm coming behind the ankle, that wire. And then coming out to that outside toe. Again, bending it back on itself. And these, these legs can be a bit fiddly when you first start making them, but once you've made hundreds, I used to make them a lot of them for workshops, so I'd spend the night before the workshop making 20 sets of legs for people. <laughs> so I'm quite um, practised. So there we go, we came behind the ankle last time, so we're going to go in front of the ankle this time for strength. And then you come under the foot and back up the leg so you've got your two feet done the last bit is to twist that wire up the leg and i'm just going to clip it to this point because it will make the twisting easier so i have about the same each side sometimes you just have to cut the cotton as well on this wire So just twisting those together, coming back up the leg. Like that. And if it ends up all the wrong way around, just straighten them. So both feet are now facing forwards. I'm going to pull that wire straight in the middle. 
you want to position the toes so they're not kind of standing on each other's feet you want them to kind of be more to the outside and you can spread them out a little bit however you like so you don't want him kind of pigeon toed and you don't want it too far to the outside you want them that, those toes nicely facing forwards make sure your wires are straight at the top as well so that's going to really help when you put them inside the bird probably clip that one a little bit shorter otherwise it'll be poking out the top of the bird and if you were um, wanting to attach these straight away then you just take your bird turn it upside down put your um, the ends of your wire, obviously this bird's already got a pair of legs inside, but you put the ends of your wire next to the bird and just snip down um, into the bird, just a little hole for the wires to go in. So you need to make a little kind of tunnel for the wires to go into. And then you add a bit of glue into that tunnel. So you put the, put the wire in first, then add a bit of glue into the tunnel. Stand your bird up. He should um, stand up, but if he doesn't, I'll show you a couple of little tricks. Um, so if your bird's leaning too far forwards, for instance, then you can just put your hand on the feet and just bend it back like that. And he'll be facing more upright. If he's tipping over to one side or the other, you probably need to make the legs a little bit further apart to give him that extra stability on the side, or you can pull the toes further apart to, so he's got a nice firm base there to stand on. And then there's a few ways you can decorate these legs. So in our um, original book, Making Needle Felted Animal, <laughs> there it is. Um, the chicken on the front has got, um, it's a slightly different style of leg, um, but it's made with pipe cleaners. It's on a much smaller scale. And then it's got wool wrapped around the pipe cleaners and then glue put over the top of the wool. So it gives it this kind of scaly effect of quite realistic. Um, and here's another example of that. This is Brian, our goose. <laughs> Again, he has wire inside the legs and he's got that, that wool with the glue on top, making that scaly effect. So he stands on those. He's also got the webbed feet as well, so you can wrap the wool not just around the toes themselves, but also between the toes if you wanted to make that webbed foot effect. So good for ducks and um, geese, etc. And you can also do that on a smaller scale as well. So that's just with the florist tape. So florist tape is another great way to wrap the legs to give it that kind of scaly effect. So this one's wrapped with florist tape and we sell it in three different colors at the moment. So we've got beige, um, brown and yellow. So the yellow is great for ducks, but you can also color it in if you want orange. And I'm going to show you now just um, wrapping some florist tape. So you take your legs, take your florist tape. Now, if you've not use, used this before, it's um, sticky when you pull it. So if you, if you stretch it, it becomes more sticky and sticks to itself. Just swap back to that camera. So you're going to lay your florist tape against the feet. Stretch it around. So you see I'm pulling it as I wrap it. And I'm just going to work on that foot area a little bit first. You can put your feet to one side. If you are covering the feet with florist tape, it's easier to do that before you um, put them in the bird, obviously. And it just makes a really nice kind of scaly effect so I'm just wrapping my way round and round pulling it nice and tight it can sometimes be easier if you want to take off a long piece of the florist tape off your roll 
and then just wrap that around. And you've got to try as you work, you might get these little folds so you can always go back over that um, and wrap over the top or you can squish it down to get rid of those little folds. Because as I say, it's kind of sticky effect of the tape. And you probably find your own ways of doing this and your own favourite ways of making these legs. They're also great because they're poseable, so you can have them. You could have, say, an owl or a kingfisher on some wood, and you can bend the toes around uh, with whatever they're gripping onto so you can really pose them quite well and you would just continue if you want to cover the whole foot with the florist tape just continue wrapping around um, and the thing to remember is at the moment the feet are quite thin especially the toes right up to the foot so if you build up extra layers around the foot you can sort of put a bit of meat on those bony toes especially if you're making something like a, um, a chicken where they have quite a quite a thick foot so you can just wrap lots and lots of florist tape around or if you wanted to you could start off wrapping wool around to build up a little bit of bulk before you put the florist tape on. And the florist tape, will it will stick over the wool. You just need to stretch it as you bring it over. So just building up, you can see between the toes there, it's starting to get a bit thicker. So if you wanted to use some wool to build it up, I'll just take a little bit of our basic core wool here. Another great one for this would be the lanolin rich wool, if you've got any of that at home. Just take your wool and wrap it exactly the same as the florist tape. You want to always wrap it in the same direction. I've stretched it out so I've got a sort of thinner piece to work with. And then just keep building up those layers of wool. You can keep it quite wrapped quite tight. I just build up a little bit at the base of that toe and then I'll show you wrapping it with the florist tape again. So although it's wool, the florist tape will definitely stick to this. And the key with wrapping the wool and the florist tape is just to keep it really, really tight. If you're doing this at home, just lay your florist tape against that wool. Wrap in the same direction as you were wrapping the wool. So remember what direction you were wrapping. Oops. Just hold the florist tape with one hand and wrap it with the other. Again, I'm going to just take a little pinch off that so I can pull it really tight as it comes around. And you get a much sort of thicker, chunkier toe. Just move that to one side and you see the difference. You can squeeze that end tight. You could make the end in a different colour if you wanted to sort of show it as a claw. So you could use the lighter beige or something there if you wanted to show a little claw on that end. And there we go, back to the start unbend those toes so you can see the difference so this one's been wrapped with the wool just at that um, this part here and this one's been wrapped with the just the florist tape only so you can see the twists of the wire a bit more and you can see the um, the toe itself is skinnier so it's up to you what kind of effect you want to go for but hopefully you'll be making all sorts of sizes and shapes of birds from tiny birds to giant robins as well so enjoy making your birds legs see you soon bye bye